Hey guys, Salonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through my 100, 250k, 500k and a million coin team that I think are really good, really solid, meta options at this point of the game. Try, put them in a few different roles and formations. Well, obviously, a lot of people already will be starting to get some pretty good untradeable cards. Feel free to mix and match some of the players or evolutions you've already got on your team. But I really like this team. Or all these teams think they're really good. So we start off with Cobalt. Keepers are a really good investment at this point in the game. The top keepers who have plus plus and a playstyle plus. They're going to rise in value anyway. Majority of them because of SBC fodder. And they're just very cheap for what they are. And they offer a lot. So Cobalt, very good keeper. Lima, a right back. Not the ideal position for him. But we've got a cheap in some areas. And he's still solid. Kim Min Jane, slot back. Pretty good solid centre backs that are cheap at this point in the game. Um, they're going to do a good job right now. Mittelstadt, very solid. Can play a couple of roles at fullback as well. Um, don't think he's amazing, but he's pretty good. 91 interceptions. He's physical. Very good too. Right mid, Kings of Carmen. Just a lot of pace out there. You put him inside forward, which is really nice. Zakaria, he's going to be on one chem, but he's that good with that one chem anyway. As just a holding defensive minor midfielder. He's going to do an absolute job for you. If you can get this guy at full care where he gets fewer upgrades, he's really, really good. Um, Crystal Dunn, super cheap card, 4-4, four, four, lots of really good stats. Swanson, like 10k. She gets um, plus plus on a player or two. Five-star weak foot with 100. She's got 97 pace, 91 finishing. She's good on the ball. Le Rose Lavella, Cam, 4-4, four, four, but she's got plus plus on Shadow Striker. Really good on the ball, some really good stats. Now, striker, Doniel Marlon. You can see the team there. Very good, solid team with lots of players at this point in the game. Are you sick to death of getting out-teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Who are very good. Let's go look at our 250k team. Here we are with the 250k team. Donna Rumor, absolute beast, six foot five, goalkeeper plus plus. He's got deflector, which is very good. Hakimi, one of the best right backs in the game right now. Um, links in very well. You can see here we're playing the 4 4 1 1 again for this. Marquinhos, top tier centre back. This team now, you can see there's a few similar players. We've already got three players the same from last time, but it's just upgrading the team in general. Gabriel's in form. Very good, solid card at this point. He should rise in value as well, in my opinion, which is always nice. Nuno Mendes, another very good fullback. Well-rounded, um, four-star weak foot. Dabinia, not the best midfielder, but with an inside forward. And the fact she's got winger either and 5-5 five five and the trickster. She's very solid. She's probably best in cab where she could play the, the half winger role. But um, she's really, really good. Tonali, absolute beast. You can see I've played her 50 games with my team. Crystal Dunn again, just a cheap option. Swanson, cheap option, but very good. Rose Lavelle, still very good. You could mix in Serie A and go like Dybala if you wanted. Isak, absolute beast up front. Um, one of the best value attackers in the game right now. Let's go look at our 500k team. Now, for the 500k team, we've built a 4 3 3 team. Again, you can see we're using some players that are similar, but I really like um, some of these players. Donald Rumor, Marquinhos, Hakimi are just insane value at this point in the game as elite players compared to some of the other options, so we're going to keep using them. Marquinhos, only six foot, but he's still got length feet. He's got some of the highest defending stats in the game. He's got um, aerial with high jumping, he's got gold intercepts, he's got anticipate. He's really good. He's probably the best value elite centre-back in the game. Mickey van der Ven, crazy card. Not a lot of play styles, but he's got all the player roles. And he's the fastest centre-back in the game, who's still very good. I really, really like him. You can see I've played quite a few games with my team. Doggy, just a really good value pairing. Can play a few roles. He's big and physical. He's quick. He's good enough on the ball. Okay defending. Very good physical at this point in the game for a fullback. Rodri. Um, De Bruyne and Rice in the midfield not a lot of pace but a lot of high stats we've got a lot of good player role pluses here so deep line playmaker on him you could put 
um, De Bruyne or half winger if you want, or um, playmaker with Declan Rice as box to box. Declan Rice is probably the one I'd be looking to get rid of if I had to pick one in that team. But there's a lot of very good players in there. Phil Foden, uh, inside forward, right wing, technical plus, um, really good on the ball, good shooting, um, really quick, not really quick, quick. Um, four star, three star is where the issue is, but he's good value for what he is with some very good links and inside forward plus plus. Isak, 85 pace again, high shooting at this point again. Solid on the ball, elite in the air, Isak still really good. And then the creme de la creme, cherry on top of this team. Neymar, he only gets one chem. He's fine. Even with that one chem, he'll be insane. Um, wide playmaker, I would put him in this role, in this team, to get him on that plus plus. Um, Neymar's just insane on the game. Um, I really like him. I play him at Cam, shadow striker in my team. But it would be even better in the wide playmaker or where he could still cut inside against the plus plus. Let's go look at the 1 million coin team. 1 million coin team, we are going to be playing 5 at the back. You can see we've got a hero, a couple of heroes, an icon in there. Some similar players in this team, just because I think they're really good value still. Donnarumma, Hakimi, Marquinhos. That triangle, really, really good. Allows you to get other players in there. Salaba, I think he is probably the best gold centre back in the game. He's cheaper than Van Dijk right now, and I think he's better than him. His pace is really solid at this point. His passing's good. He's not great on the ball, but that dribbling's decent at this point of the game. His defending's elite. He's really good physical. He's got anticipate plus. He's got defender plus plus, which I think is the best uh, player role. He's got good height, and he's lengthy. Um, Hierro allows the team to get more chem. Defender plus plus again. Not quick. But with that defending stats, physical and defender plus plus, he's an absolute animal and I think reasonable value. A doggy, there's not many great fullbacks and a doggy's reasonable value at this point. Ludovic Julie, in the 5 4 1, he's got double inside forward, that's really nice. 4 4 is good with 100, it's a very good card, he's very good on the ball. And he's giving double links to our PSG players, which is going to help them out. Rodri and Patrick Gudaro. Got a big physical midfielder who's still pretty good on the ball. Then Guadaro is going to be able to play those chip through balls, just glitch people out basically. Nico Williams, we're managing to get um, some of these on near full chem. Um, Nico Williams is insane on the ball, um, inside forward. Really like this card, he's rapid. He's going to give you an outlet um, on the left. And then Soul Scout front, four star weak foot. I don't care how much for skills right now. It's the Poacher++ plus plus and the Finesse. Normally, I wouldn't consider Solskjaer. He's not the best on the ball. He's not the best physical. But with a Hunter, he's really quick with 93 pace. He's got 99 finishing. He's got the best play style in the game and probably the best player role for an attacker in the game. So I think he's really good value. Obviously, a million coins can change and mix the team quite a bit. I really like that team. I think it's very good. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. It's given you some good options to build your teams around, some ideas. Appreciate you guys as always. Keep it spicy. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace.